Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate His word today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm very happy that God has brought us together to meditate His word. May God speak to us even in this morning as we meditate His wonderful word through the spiritual breakfast session. Today is the last day of this week and God has brought us thus far and He has been faithful uh, throughout this week. So give thanks unto Him for His faithfulness in our lives. And uh, today's meditation is from the book of Romans chapter 7 verse 1. Do you not know brothers and sisters? For I am speaking to those who know the law that the law has authority over someone only as long as that person lives as we all know and we have been meditating there apostle paul is speaking to the uh, jewish community and the and the jews in fact and he as he was speaking to the jews he says that i am speaking to the one who knows the law and he says that I am not speaking to the to the one who is unknown to the law or a foreigner to the law. I am speaking to the one who knows what the law says. And you know that the law says that you are into the law or you are under the law until you are alive. Every man who is alive is, as he has committed his life uh, for the law, he is under the law. That's what Apostle Paul says. We will, uh, Apostle Paul wants to say something uh, very clearly. We will meditate it when we come to the uh, verse 4. So then you can understand very uh, easily. Apostle Paul says here, when you have committed your life for the law of God, law of Moses, you are under the law until you are dead. So all through your life, you are under it. So my dear brothers and sisters, Apostle Paul says in the verse, when a Jew is under the law, when he or she has committed their life for the law, we have committed our life, our life for Jesus Christ. We have committed our life for the commandments of Jesus Christ and he has given us commandments even in the New Testament as the believers. We have, he has given us. So we are under that until we are living. So until we are alive, we must be following the commandments that God has given. Until we are alive, we are under it. Never forget that we have no excuse to run away from all these commandments as God has given us. Or we have admitted ourselves unto God so we can be his disciples. And now we are under the law until we are living. Amen.